actually it's being done in different areas of the world. Could you speak to that at all or give us some hope that maybe we could, we could New Orleans could be the city that is a, um, the prototype of what we can build in the rest of our, our other cities. Thank you. Um, what has happened over the years, I was a delegate at Kyoto when we negotiated the Kyoto Treaty on Global Warming. Um, and it seems like the rest of the world got it. And we in America were still suffering from Category 5 denial. Uh, and it seems like as I travel around the world, I'll be in Germany next month looking at its uh, energy system and how they're integrating uh, alternative energy into their programs that uh, in America, we seem to be lagging behind in that area as well and have not yet recognized the economic value in alternative energy, the economic opportunity to a green uh, economy. Yes, Louisiana has the great resources. Yes, it's going to require a coalition that includes industry to uh, invest in these new ideas. Some states have already taken action. Uh, to help stimulate the economies. Of course, green buildings is one thing. Retrofitting buildings is one thing. But 11 states have already passed renewable portfolio standards that is requiring that a certain percentage of all the energy produced in their state be alternative energy. Uh, Pennsylvania has an 18 percent uh, renewable portfolio standard. 18 percent of all the energy in Pennsylvania must be alternative. A company called Gamesa from Spain moved its operation to Pennsylvania. They built windmills and created a thousand new jobs. This is what it, this is what it takes to stimulate the economy and a golden opportunity to stimulate our economy. But also, when you talk about retrofitting buildings, green, building green, we create a new workforce. We create new jobs. People that are laid off can go back to work again. Uh, and so it's, it's a great opportunity, especially in New Orleans, because we're rebuilding, to rebuild one that is environmentally friendly, two that's going to stimulate the economy, and three, the alternative energy that is going to get us off the oil barrel that we're being held over by foreign countries. But so this is an opportunity. This up to you, I'm sorry, yeah. This is a golden opportunity for us. Okay, we have, time, we have time for one more question. 